gift, talent and purpose. So right now I'm just in the loft of my flat. Saturday today I've been there all day hard grinding. Jay wise you done now. Obviously I've been doing a lot of thinking since I've been on my jacks, innit? And I was thinking back to when I first jumped onto YouTube, I made a video talking about talent and gifts. And I still stand by that to this day. I believe everyone's got a gift and a talent. Now, if you believe in God, you could say God has blessed you with a gift and a talent. But for me, when I was a youth man in school from the end of year seven until the end of year 11, they used to buy and sell crisping drinks in school every day. I didn't care about nothing else. Now, if you're a youth man watching this right now, you're a young person, boy or girl, stay in school and do the best you can. But for me, that's all I used to do in school, buy and sell crisps and drinks in school. Like, to the point where, like, I would get uh, caught and I had to lay low because the teachers then was watching, man. So I couldn't even buy and sell crisps and drinks in school no more. And I used to be in the playground like a lost cause. Like, this is, you know, man <laughs> did not care about education like that, like, a man's supposed to be in school to get educated, but no, a man's in school trying to make money and that. So if you're a young person watching this right now, young man, young gal, whatever, yeah, stay in school and do the best you can. But I'm just saying what I was on in school and I was on making money. But sometimes your gift and your talent when you was young might not carry you through to your adolescence per se, or it might evolve a little bit. So after school, obviously man's on the road. Now I ain't promoting no badness or nothing like that. And I ain't even going to say what I was doing. But if you've been watching man's live streams, you will know what man's talking about. Isn't it? Man was trying to, you get me, make a bit of money and, and it didn't work out for me. Good. But even in the legit world, like I've tried starting a vending machine business. You know, I made a little bit of money off that, but that didn't work out. Tried buy and sell lights and uh, made a little bit of money, but that didn't work out long time, innit? Yeah. But don't get it twisted, though. Like, every entrepreneur and that, you know, man like Alan Sugar and Donald Trump and them man there, them man have all started things that ain't worked out, but been successful in other things, innit? So just because you're not successful in one or two little bits and pieces, that don't mean you're not going to be a successful entrepreneur or whatever, innit? But again, as I said, certain times your gift in that might evolve. Let me just explain one thing right now. Everyone has a gift and everyone has a talent. But let's say you don't know what your gift is. Let's say you don't know what your talent. Well, I'll tell you what your gift and your talent is. Something that comes natural to you. Like, think yourself, what comes natural to me? Like, you could be an amazing cook or you might be a poet. That is something that comes natural to you. That is, what you, if you want to call it a skill. But let's say you're struggling to find what comes natural to you. What you need to do is you need to do something that gives you satisfaction, that makes you happy. I'm not made to be an electrician or a fucking tiler. Or a fucking painter and decorator. But you know, when I got up this morning, and even the night before, I was like happy, you know, like thinking to myself, like, yeah, man, can't wait to go to the flat tomorrow and do up the flat. Not necessarily a thing where I like doing the work. I do enjoy, you know, doing a bit of electrical work here, a little bit of tiling is a little hobby for me as well. I don't mind doing a little bit of tiling and that. But for me, what brings me happiness is the satisfaction of a project. Putting in the hard work and seeing the end result. Because, you know, as men, we are natural builders, you know. When I say builders, I don't mean man with a fucking pliers or a spanner or a hammer. Men, we like to work on projects. Why do you think you always see these men? I see these men all the time, you know. Like, I see man on the roadside outside their house just fixing in their own car. Like, they're working on a local project. Like, you must know someone. man. You might not even know a man to chat to a man, but you must know someone or see someone all the time like, outside their driveway and they're fixing their car. That is natural for men. We like to work on things and we, not all, but a, a lot of us get satisfaction when we put in the hard work 
and we've seen the end product and obviously what we've done works and looks good in that. If your passion is to fix up cars and that, why not try to make money doing that? Me, I like the idea, like I used to love watching Homes Under the Hammer, so I like the idea of renovating houses and that. And that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, my gift and my talent when I was a youth man was being an entrepreneur, buying and selling crisp and drinks, moving and, you get me, flipping products and that. But now I might have changed. Maybe man's purpose ain't to own this company, buying and selling that. Maybe man's purpose might be to work hard, save up money, put down for a deposit, buy a property, renovate it, rent it out for a bit and then sell it on. Because you know what, in that process, doing, doing the hard work and that, that gives me satisfaction. So, so your skill might not be to be an entrepreneur. Your talent might not be to be like an entrepreneur or something like that. It might be something else. But whatever gives you satisfaction, you need to find a way to make money from that. Like, even if it weren't like doing properties up and that. Me, I love to ride my motorbike. I'm not even interested in going on the track. Man lives near that Silverstone place, apparently. I think it might be like a half an hour drive from man's yard or whatever, innit, yeah? I ain't even interested in going on the track, but I love to ride the motorbike. So maybe like man could set up a GoPro and make videos going here and going there. Cause people will watch. There's a man on YouTube called Max Risk. Millions of subscribers, I believe. Or at least 500,000 subscribers easily. Anyone who's from the motorbike community knows Max Risk. All a man does, I don't know if it's just one person actually, but I know it's at least one person anyway. A man with a GoPro, popping wheelies next to Ferraris and, yeah, you know the one. But let's say, like, I weren't doing this. Maybe jumping on a motorbike with a GoPro or whatever, innit? Yeah? Because I love to have my motorbike, so why not film it and stick it on YouTube and make money from it? So if you're at home and you think to yourself, like, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, I work this dead-end job, whatever. Think to yourself, all right, cool. Maybe maybe you haven't discovered what your gift is. Or what your talent is right now. But what gives you satisfaction? There must be something that you love to do that gives you satisfaction. Like even if it's like baking cakes. If you get satisfaction from baking cakes and they're actually good. You might not be the amazing cook or nothing like that. Or amazing baker or something like that. But if it's good enough to sell. Why don't you start baking cakes from your yard and selling them on? Then before you sell them on, why don't you start baking cakes from your house and then giving out free samples? I know someone. They are an amazing cook, you know. Five-star restaurant type of food. Trust me. And I told them, listen, your shit is good, you know. Like You should start, you know, making, I don't know, cooking chicken and giving out free samples or whatever. And if I call this trying to make money from day one, the product is good. People will talk. People will come back and buy your shit. So, yeah. Still, I still believe that anyway, everyone's got a gift. And everyone's got a talent. But even if you ain't discovered what your gift or your talent is, maybe your purpose is to do something that gives you satisfaction. There must be something that you like to do that gives you satisfaction. If, if fucking building BMXs from scratch... Gives you satisfaction. Why not start a business where you custom make BMXs for people? Think, oh, that's not lucrative. Oh, people. But there's bare man on. Well, obviously not right now because man's on lockdown and that. But there's bare people who go down to the skate park and that with BMXs and that. So yeah, everyone's got a skill. Everyone's got a talent. Find out what what you like to do. What gives you satisfaction and find a way to make money from it. I can't wait till this fucking project's done. Can't wait till this project's done. But yeah, I'm gonna... Obviously, this is a quick little video on that. Um, I'm gonna run you through what I've done today, yeah? Stay wise. All right, so boom. Just laid out a few tiles on the floor just so I know where they start and finish. Now, I probably ain't gonna finish the tiling in the kitchen today. But at the end of the day, I'll make a quick recording just to show you guys what I've got up to in it. 
Now the reason why I pick grey tiles, because I want to keep the yard like a grey theme, like a dark grey theme. This is the bathroom here. I don't know why the people them put down grey carpet in the bathroom. It looks nice, but I don't think it's ideal for a bathroom. But what I do like is this panel stuff that they've got. And yeah, so I'm going to keep the house like a grey theme, obviously, living room and that's trust and that. But yeah, I'm going to keep the house a grey theme because I think that's what's trending nowadays. Not that I care anyway, but I've seen quite a lot of people, the interior of their houses is dark grey. And um, yeah, it looks good, so that's what mine's going to do. So this is what I've done so far today. Let's see if I get around and get a bit of shot. So yeah, this is what I've done so far today. Man's laid down some tiles and that. Um, yeah, ran a couple cables for a couple lights and that. There's this thing called tile adhesive. Um, it's what you use to stick the tiles down to the floor. So I had a little bit left over. So I thought rather than let it go to waste, let me just put down one tile downstairs. So yeah, the same tiles that I'm gonna have in the kitchen there. Gonna have it downstairs there. Lift up this carpet and that. And then stick it in the bathroom and that. In this room here, I'm not even gonna bother run any spotlights and that. Um, I'm just gonna leave it for the other room. So obviously in here, I'm gonna have spotlights in here. So when I wonder, one there, that's going to be a different type of light in the middle. And then one there, one there, so four. Actually called, technically called down lights, but I'll just call them spotlights so everyone knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's about it.